guys, it's Holly, the Twister sister, and it's Tuesday, so that means it's time for another Tutorial Tuesday. All right, so for today, I thought I would show you guys how I've been making a frozen princess. So this is a very icy, snowy looking character, but she's really pretty and little girls love her. So we're gonna be able to do this one with just five balloons but I'll show you some extras you can add on at the end to really make it look really cool. So the balloons that you need to have, we're gonna need two 160s. Now you can use 260s in place of these 160s, but it looks a lot better with the 160s. So I've got a white and a clear 160s. And then for the 260s, you can kind of pick your colors that you want for this, but you're gonna need a blush for her face and her arms. And then I've got two different shades of blue here. I've got like a Caribbean blue and then the uh, pale blue from Qualitex. Now the optional balloon that I'll be using for this at the end is a clear five inch round that has snowflakes on it, which is just perfect for an icy snowy frozen princess. So these are private reserve only from Continental Sales. Post a link in the description down below where you can get these snowflake balloons. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start with her dress. And for that, I'm gonna be using this pretty Caribbean blue color. And I'm just gonna blow this up almost all the way. So I'm leaving about a two inch tail there at the end. Go ahead and tie that off. And we're gonna start off on this one with a little pinch twist. I almost forgot the name of it there. So just make a small bubble. Bring the nozzle down and wrap it around that bubble. And you've got yourself a little pinch twist. Okay, now we're gonna come down about three or four inches for the body. And this is a lot like the uh, evil fairy dress that we made. So go ahead and we're gonna make a triangle here. So make a little five or six inch bubble. And we need to come across, so I'm gonna do about a two inch bubble here. Hold your balloon up and bring that back in twist it into what will become her waist, like that. Okay, now we're gonna need another triangle, the same size as that one. So just do the same thing again. Measure your bubbles to make sure that they're about the same size. We're gonna twist all that together. So we've got something like this now. Okay, we can get rid of the rest of this balloon. Go ahead and just wrap that around to secure it. Okay, so you should have something like this. One pinch twist at the top. Okay, now to uh, work on the bottom of her dress, I'm actually going to use a white balloon so that I think it'll be a little bit easier to see with this background. So I changed the background so you could see the white balloons better but then it looks like it's hard to see the blue balloon. Ah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use a white balloon to make some bubbles that go around the bottom of her dress to make it have a nice snowy effect. So just put a little bit of air in here. I've got a nice long tail on there that I'm leaving. Go ahead and twist that off. And we're gonna start off with a small pinch twist. So just a really small bubble. Bring that nozzle around to make the pinch twist. And we're gonna connect this to one of these joints here on the bottom of one of the triangles. Just lock it in there, okay? And now we wanna connect both triangles. So we're gonna do a string of bubbles going across to connect them. If you wanna go faster, you don't have to do the bubbles. You can just wrap the white balloon around there. But the bubbles look really nice and girly and princessy. So I'm gonna do four bubbles going all the way across. And now to connect them, I'm just gonna thread my white balloon through the nether triangle there, and then just lock that in place. All right, so that looks pretty. Now we're gonna do some bubbles going across this side. I'm gonna do about three bubbles to go across there. Okay, and now to connect that, we're gonna do the same thing. So you're gonna thread the white balloon through the triangle to lock your bubbles in place. Now we need to do the same thing going across the back. So 
So we're going to do four bubbles again. All right, so I've got my four bubbles. We're going to connect them into the other triangle. Thread your balloon through and just lock it in there. All right, now we just have one more side to go across. I'm going to do three bubbles here. And this one's easy. You can just pinch it into that pinch twist or twist it into the pinch twist like that. So we went all the way around the bottom of the dress. So that's pretty. And now we can get rid of the rest of this white balloon. Just twist it around to secure it in place. Now I usually leave a little bit with the pinch twist. I make that the back of the dress, but it doesn't look bad if you leave it in the front accidentally. So that is the dress. So we're gonna go ahead and work on her face and her arms now. So grab yourself a blush 260. I'm gonna put it some air in there. So we've got a nice long tail. Tie that off. And then I'm gonna grab the white 160. This is gonna be for her hair. So she's got long hair, so we wanna blow this up a good amount. So I've got about a three inch tail there. And you want to just tie these two together. So we're gonna start off with like the typical princess head. So the hair is one bubble. Make that a pinch twist. And then you're gonna do a small loop for her bangs, okay? Now we're gonna bring these both balloons down together and twist them together about one inch down. Bring the white balloon back up, twist it into the top, and bring it back down the other side. Okay, now she's gonna need a ponytail, which uh, is like a braid, but we're gonna do like a ponytail type thing. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna force some air out of our balloon. So we get a, like an uninflated section here. We're gonna bring that up top, wrap that around the top, and then back down the other side, but you're not gonna twist it into anything. You're just kind of gonna wedge it so that the balloon is coming out the middle of her head over here on this side. So there you go. And that's it for the hair for now. We've got this long extra balloon here. We're gonna leave that until we know where exactly we need to cut her hair off at. And we don't know that yet until we attach her to her dress. So to do that, you're gonna make a neck. So just make a small round bubble for the neck. You're gonna go ahead and twist that into the pinch twist on top of her dress. Like that. And now we need two arms. So these are just like the arms on the evil fairy we did. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out so you know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to give it a little bend here for the elbow. And I'm gonna twist off about where I want her arm to be. And I'm gonna thread this through the side of her dress, coming out the other side. And then we're gonna wedge it up towards her waist, but you don't wanna really lock it in there. So it's just kind of down a little bit and off to the side. And don't worry about her head right now. We're gonna fix everything at the end. So we've got her arms wedged into her dress, and now we need this other one. So I'm gonna give it a little shape, and we're gonna twist it off, and twist it back into the pinch twist up top. Now we're done with the rest of our blush balloon so we can get rid of it. Crazy princess. <laughs> we're gonna tie that off. Just make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. Okay, so now she's got her arms on and her head. As you can see, her head is going back like that, which we're gonna fix when we add her sleeves and her cape. So that last part, we're gonna need our clear 160. And I'm going to blow it up almost all the way. So I'm leaving about a one and one and a half inch tail. I'm gonna tie that off. And there's different ways that you can connect this. I just do it real basic. So I'm gonna take the nozzle of our clear 160 and I'm gonna wrap it into this pinch twist to attach it. Okay, 
And now we're gonna make a loop for her sleeve and bring it back behind her arm. I'm gonna do a little twist and uh, you're gonna have to wrap it around her neck and bring it back up front. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. So I'm gonna fold it over her arm, make a twist in the back here, and we're gonna twist it around all of that. And you want the clear balloon to end up coming out the back. Because so we're gonna give this princess a icy clear cape, which is really cool. So once you add these sleeves, that should help stabilize her head and her neck so she's up straight like she should be. And now to add her cape, we're just going to bring our clear balloon back and down and we're going to lock it into the wedge here or the joint here at the bottom of her dress. So I don't want it to be super tight on her, so I'm gonna let, give it a little bend. I'm gonna twist it off where I want it. And I'm just gonna thread this through the bottom of her dress and lock it in right where I want it. Now we're gonna bring the clear balloon over and across and twist it into the other side of her dress. And there's different ways you can do that, but I'm just going to bring it through her dress out the side here. I'm just gonna lock that in place. We've got that. And now we just need her cape to go back up on the other side, make it the same size and twist it into the back here where the cape starts. So I'm going to make my twist first and then I'm gonna cut off the excess, <laughs> tie it off, and we'll just use this tail, wrap it around her sleeves and her neck and all that to lock it in there. Now you can kind of arrange everything however you want it. And the cool thing about this design is you can adjust her by just kind of changing her arms. So you can make her lean forward or to the side. We're gonna leave her standing up straight. Now on the bottom of her dress, I like to put the clear balloon on the inside so that the um, white bubbles are going on the outside of her dress. You can do it differently if you want. That's just how I do it. Now we need to do something with this hair because it's just too long and it's in the way. So what you're gonna do is squeeze your balloon out, make it nice and soft and kind of give it some curve. And we're gonna connect it into her dress underneath her hands here. So I'm just gonna kind of put the balloon through her dress and then I'm just gonna pull it through to the point where her head will be sticking up straight still because we don't wanna pull it too tight because then it's gonna pull her head back and we don't want that. So give it a little room. Okay, so when you've got it where you want it, mark that spot with your fingers. Go ahead and tie it off, or twist it off, sorry. Cut it off. And then tie it off. Okay, and we're gonna bring that back down and twist, take that tail and you can twist it up around your waist. very loosely twisted in there, so you don't want it to be too tight. Okay, and then you can just arrange her hair so that her head is looking straight forward and she's standing up nice and tall. Okay, so that is the basic princess. This is kind of the new princess design that I've been doing and I really like it uh, because she can sit up on the table on her own so this makes a great party favor centerpiece table topper and this next part is optional but it's super cool so i definitely recommend doing it so i'm going to grab that clear snowflake balloon that i was telling you about earlier and what's really cool with this is since you can kind of see through her dress you can put candy in here uh, stuff it with something and it looks really neat and it also adds some weight to help her stand up but i'm gonna put my nozzle of my pump all the way to the end of the balloon so i just get the snowflake part inflated i don't want the part of the balloon that doesn't have any printing on it to really show so i'm gonna put some air in here so 
we've got pretty snowflakes on our clear balloon. And I'm going to let some air out until I think it's the right size to fit right in this part of her dress. And then go ahead and tie it off. Okay. And then we're just going to wedge this clear balloon up from the bottom of her dress. I'm just going to wedge it right in the middle. Now, if you want to, you can take the nozzle from that clear balloon and wrap it up around her waist to really secure it in there. But really, I mean, it's, it's, it's not going to go anywhere unless you really yank on it. And that helps to give her a little bit more weight so that she'll stand up nicely on her own on a table. So this is the frozen princess. I hope you guys like it. I'm going to go ahead and draw her face on. All right, so that is her face. Now, while I've got my white paint pen out here, and I'm using the Sharpie water-based paint pens, I'm gonna go ahead and draw some little snowy details on her dress. So what I like to do is I'll do three dots on her sleeve here, and then do like a little snowflake shape, which is just an X and then one going through it. If you can see with that glare. And then three dots on the other side of the snowflake. Okay, and then we do the same thing on the other sleeve. So three dots, a snowflake, three dots, like that. Then I'm gonna do that same pattern going across this bubble and then down here. So it's gonna kind of zigzag. All right, so that is what I usually draw on my pretty little frozen princess. All right guys, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. If you liked it, go ahead and give me a little thumbs up so I know that you liked it and you want to see more videos like this one. Also, if you're new to this channel or new to balloon twisting in general and you want to get some more videos and make sure that you don't miss any of the videos that I put out, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and that way you'll get notified every time I put out a new video. If you guys attempt to make this pretty frozen princess, I would love to see pictures of your creations. Just send them on over to my Facebook page. The link is down in the description. You can post your pictures directly on my page and I will see them and comment on them and I just love getting to see all of your balloon creations. Thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting me. You guys are awesome. And I will see you in my next balloon tutorial. Bye-bye.